Hey guys, so a lot of people were still a little confused on how to set up the Roxio Game Capture HD Pro for the PlayStation 3. And I know I did kind of a bad job on the video there, so I'm going to redo it. And so what you have to do is, if you have your PlayStation running, which I already assume, it's likely through HDMI. So it would just be a cable going from your TV straight to the back of your PlayStation, like that. And so now what you have to do is if that's my HDMI cord for the Roxio game capture if let's say I already had it set up just like this where it goes straight to the TV then what you have to do is get yourself a component cable and it's a little different than the included red yellow and white ones because it has audio too it has three video ones and then two audio cables. You need to get yourself one of those. It is not included with the device. And plug it in to where the regular red, yellow, and white ones would be. And plug that in. And then plug the cables to the back of your Roxio game capture. They're all labeled, so it's pretty easy to put them in. And these two ones right here, these are just for my headset, so you don't need to worry about that. Unless you do have a headset. And if it's like mine, where it has the ones that plug into your audio cables there, then you just need to hook them on to the audio cables for the component. And once you have that set up, then take... Well, the first thing before you do this, you have to install the program on your computer. And then what's going to happen is you'll have something like this come up. Let's see, I need to get it started real quick. Okay, here we go. It'll be like that. And then click Capture. And for the PlayStation, right here, it'll start off on HDMI. You need to put it on Component, or you won't get a signal. And that's important because you won't get a signal otherwise. And so once you have it set to component, then you plug in your component cables to the Roxio device, and then plug in your USB cable to the back of the Roxio device into the back of your computer, and that cable is included. And then once you've done all that, what you want to do is go to your PlayStation, which I can't see right now. Let me fix this. Okay, go to your PlayStation settings and go to your display settings. Once you're in the display settings, click on video output settings and click component slash D -term terminal. Make sure it's not composite. I mixed that up the first time I did this. So like that and click on component slash D terminal. And then select all the output settings your TV has. And then click X one more time. Or just scroll to the left slash right. And then you'll get to a screen like this. And then just leave it like that for now. And now what you want to do is, if you're using an HDMI cable, get it ready so you'll be able to plug it into the Roxio device and then into your TV. And now you can click X to save the settings, which I'm not going to do. It's not even going to do anything. And then click, well, you can set your output settings, but that should be later because you won't be able to see anything. So, once you get to, yes. So you get to here, hit X, and then come over to the back. Unplug your HDMI if that's what you're using and plug it into the Roxio device and then you should have a screen here. You should. And if that's not working then you probably didn't do follow the directions right. Uh, Doc! Sorry that's my dad. And so once you have that done you should have a signal and you should set audio output settings. And then just click SCART slash AV Multi, and then you're done. Click X to save it. 
and you should be done now. So, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. And, oh, yeah, also, on here, just make sure you have a, you're able to see the picture there, because it should show up. And, thanks for watching, guys.